Extreme fighting champions Norman and Gareth have wills of steel when it comes to diet and fitness. They share their top tips for staying in shape when on holiday, even when traveling abroad. So you two guys essentially do the exact same sport, but your training and eating habits are completely different. That is, that is correct. I have certain objectives and maintenance that I need to adhere to. And we all have walk around weights, which we need to manage, and then competition weights, which is something completely different. But guys, you recently came back from a trip to Greece where you had a bit of a team holiday and a seminar. What was that all about? Yeah, the fighting militia team went to uh, Athens and to Naxos to establish relationships, you know, where I at least potentially can compete overseas and also to, to share the knowledge. And uh, it's something that we'd like to do on a yearly basis. And it's just great for the fighters to, to get out of South Africa, get away from the actual training side of things, but still be active and just have a bit of a rest in between. Was it at least a successful trip? It was a very, very successful trip. We have, you know, you know, pretty much sealed the deal to go there every year. And uh, they're building a brand new MMA gym on Naxos Island, and it's gonna be a top cross training facility. We can't wait to go there on a yearly basis and train now. Norman, let's talk a bit about planning and preparation, especially for an overseas trip like this. How important is it? Preparation and planning ahead is definitely essential because we have to take you know, time zones into consideration. We have to take culture into consideration. People eat differently to what we do here. We have to take into consideration what times of the day we'll be training. Normally, we start at 4 o'clock in the morning and end at 8 o'clock at night. The Greek training times, you know, is like 11 o'clock in the morning and they finish at 11 o'clock, half past 11 at night. There's a last training session. So in terms of eating and consumption, it's way, way more different. They eat differently to us. So all of these things we have to take into consideration and we have to supplement where possible. Gareth, on the point of supplements, what are some of the supplements that you travel with? Look, it's essential for me to have uh, my key supplements, which is uh, glutamine, BCAA, some whey protein. Just make sure that I'm getting all the essential things in that I need to function. You never know what you're going to be able to find there. You never know what they're going to be able to supply you. So instead of relying on them, you know, we need to rely on ourselves and make sure that we looked after. Gareth, why are these supplements that they mentioned good supplements to travel with? Their supplementation is really based on recovery, maintenance of that lean muscle tissue. So the essential and conditionally essential amino acids, the glutamine, the branch chain amino acid complexes, that assist with maintaining uh, anabolism during their training sessions. Whey protein is essential for lean muscle tissue recovery and growth. What about a product like Fedricut Hardcore? Can that easily be incorporated into that uh, supplement combination? Fedricut Hardcore is an ideal product for these athletes in that it enhances weight control, suppresses the appetite, increases the energy availability, and the mental and physical focus is definitely there. And with its unique uptake liquid delivery system, it works very, very quickly. And what about women, Gareth? Can they use a product like Fedricut Hardcore? Fedricut Hardcore can be used by females. However, we ask that the, the clients come and consult with us on a one-on-one -on -one basis, either via telephone or email, or even through our social media. Speak to an expert on the USNSA page on Facebook. Also find answers to frequently asked questions on usn.coza, as well as powerful motivational videos by Dr. Kurbis Nietling. So if you do take a personal holiday, how should you approach it? Should you take off and just relax or should you still keep fit and active? It's essential to be be active so you know a lot of swimming a lot of running. Food intake look uh, we still try and maintain a solid and well rounded uh, meal meal through the day but you know obviously still not putting that pressure too much pressure on ourselves having a bit of a uh, having a bit of a break relaxing and, and enjoying life you know you can't be constantly at the grindstone all the time. No. What meal replacements can you introduce into your diet that would be beneficial to stay healthy over a holiday season? What you need to understand really is that meal replacements are goal specific and both of these athletes are highly energy dependent. They need a lot of calories to maintain their muscle mass, to maintain their off season weight or to maintain their fighting weight. Um, so in that regard they do need a lot more carbohydrates than sort of a standard individual looking to maintain or drop body fat mass. Muscle fuel STS is probably the ideal meal replacement for them with a high protein, the 46 grams per serving to maintain the muscle tissue. 61 grams of carbohydrates is just enough to maintain a good glycogen balance, sustain their blood sugar level, and it prevents them overeating with the next solid meal. Want the energy you need to enjoy life to the max? Here's a tip. Never skip a meal. It's not an option, whatever your weight loss goals. And holidays are a great time to try something new. Tell me a bit about the Fight Fit Militia. Can anyone join there? Can anyone come and train, especially women? We're definitely open to the community. We are community driven at the end of the day and women are very welcome. We have quite a few females that train with us purely because it's got such a broad general conditioning environment where everything, every single muscle gets worked on a daily basis. And Gareth, how effective would MMA be as a sport specifically for weight loss when it comes to women? Yeah, it can be, uh, it can give them massive results. It can really change the whole shape of their figure, give them a lot more energy and uh, make them feel good about themselves for 
for the lovely uh, sunny holiday season coming up. And Gareth, just to wrap up, general advice for people going on holiday to stay healthy. Prepare your meals effectively, and if you know you're gonna miss meals, make sure you pack your meal replacements as well as your Protein Fuel 25, uh, and then remain consistent with everything that you do. So if you have any further questions surrounding weight loss, supplementation or training, you can go post them on uh, the USNSA page on Facebook or alternatively you can call in next week because Gareth will be in studio and he will be able to take all your calls and questions.